does not fucking work for me at all. As the salty water withdraws from my eyes, my focus pulls in upon my feathered friend watching me from above. Is this not worth going for? Yes. That is what must have befallen you. I what were you trying to do? Well, we found a collision point that launches us up over those rocks, and it allows us to skip two cutscenes, saving about 45 seconds. Memories of such an existence. <sighs> but I have never been able to get it off in a run, and I've only ever been able to get it off in practice like twice. My own name is so. I don't think it's a trick worth going for. It saves 45 seconds, and if you can get it consistent, then that works, but... I can never get it done. I can never... I can never get it to work. Um, I've already found another way of doing it, which seems apparently might possibly be faster. Um, off of the rock directly behind the stick, but he has not said anything about it on the forums, and I guess that's probably in protest to the fact that I haven't written anything about the blind walking on the forums. That's my bad. Um, but like, god, I just, I can't do this fucking, like, cutscene skip bullshit that he does. I don't understand how he's able to get everything so consistently. His, um, his PB looks borderline tass. It's insane. Like, I almost don't want to believe he did it. But I don't have any reason to distrust him now, so... But it looks borderline tass. It's super insane. I don't get how he does it. Love is just immensely good at these games. I can't compete. Hello, Gaseva. I didn't even try going for the time save, I'm just gonna go for the, like the 20 seconds. Uh, a consistent 20 second loss. Oh, and then I'm gonna get the slow version of it, which means it's even slower. Let's go. That might have just been worse off. Whatever. It's more consistent. And at the moment, that's all I care about. A lot of Montague Mount fucking tricks are not very consistent. We found consistent saves for Out of Bounds, but... In replacement, Mave has found not one, but two ways of skipping two, the first two cutscenes of the game. And neither are consistent. They might be consistent for him, but they're not consistent for me. And I don't get how he does it. I'm just waiting for him to, like, start playing Dream and take all my records in there. With some weird trick that he found that I've never seen before. 
That'll be fun. It's well not too held up over records, I guess. Because I know there will always be people that are... Ugh, gross. Come on. Climbing up this rock is actually a lot harder than it looks. My son is alive. You hear me? My son is alive. Line it up to east. Wow. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Come on. There we go. Oh, that is a lot higher than normal. That's... Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna land me right there. Okay. That was a lot of time lost, actually. Come on, open up, damn you. I know this place. <laughs> I know this place. I remember the warmth of the sun. Uh, I could potentially get a 10. Uh, like a 1045 or something. Lying with great children. Maybe. I'll, I can definitely get about an 11. Love. But I maybe I can get a 10. It's a very, very maybe. And, and Peter playing in the sea. Skipping the stones and, 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 and searching for those, those tiny crabs within the rock pool. So inquisitive. So full of life. Thank you. Alright. I, I like it. I think it's a good game. It's not perfect. There are definitely problems that I have with it. There are definitely problems I could see people having with it to call it a bad game. Um, especially as far as the actual problem solving and puzzle solving goes. But I like it. Overall, I like this game. I think all three games that I'm playing in this one run are uh, very underappreciated. 
They're really good. Exactly. Okay, and then we go to Ether One. Wow, I got a ten twenty nine. Shit, man, that's really good. And then I lost like three seconds to the game swap. It's fine though. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I. Okay. Uh, it's just. God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, <coughs> I, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know <coughs> how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. I uh, just hope I don't get stuck. You know I do. Because a lot of my de my runs have been dying to either one. To squeeze money out of. Please, I haven't been able to get to dream out. lately. I'm freaking scared. You have for me. Is that? It is. Oh, this is excellent. We're so glad to have you back. My name is Dr. Edmund, but you can call me Phyllis if you like. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Restoration procedure for patient J M two zero five seven. We'll commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Beautiful, isn't it? A miracle of the 20th century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. So I have time right. saving both and Ether 1 and Dream. So let's hope I can get do. them. And get those time saves. But yeah, Slash, if you have any, like, questions about the run or the game or anything like that, of, of any of the three games I'm going to be playing, hopefully, uh, presuming I even get to dream, you are free to ask about them. I can answer them to the best of my abilities. Dream, I think, is the only one that I'm most confident in talking about, but I can definitely talk about the other two.
your surroundings. It keeps most restorers' sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. God, okay. We lost time on that. I'm pretty sure we lost time on that. That kind of pisses me off a little bit. Like stars are passing you by. Burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful. So fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Yeah, angry doodle I noises. Can't hold on anymore. Please. Restorer, can you okay. hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry. At least I know we're getting at either one this time. Because that's the one spot, at the very beginning of the game is the one spot where we could, like, lose the run. Hello, Pixel Exchange. Yeah, I fucked up on a trick. Don't worry about it. I fucked up on a trick after, uh, losing time to some stupid shit. You know, when I was a young doctor, there was a lot that I thought Otherwise, I've been a pretty much a shell for the most of the day. Shell, not a shill, a shell, like a husk. Can I be honest for a moment? I'm beginning to suspect that I may have been too cavalier in my approach. In fact, I'm certain I have. But these are new frontiers. Don't you understand? There's no second chance with this. I have one chance, and you're it. I don't trust often, but I have faith that you're going to complete. 
diagnosed. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how incredibly rare that is. It sparked something in me, a longing to find a cure, and with that I began to focus my research on dementia, eventually leading me here. This is really, really slow. Had my no! No. I'm sure we could have saved her. She died when she was 39. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Um listen. This is bad. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is botched. This is super, super botched. You're doing a fantastic job here, Thomas. Without you, we're gonna be so red by the time this split is done. Be this close. I hope that you can find it in your heart to trust me. And, and to believe when I say that... This I has been so hella botched. As much as I want to save this mind. Some memories are buried deep inside and can never be forgotten. It's the little things at first. The things that were already what? Restorer, what? I need to make this absolutely clear. If you leave and go to the final memory now, there's no coming back. So if there's anything you think you've missed or want to explore further, what? You do it now. <sighs> this hall. <laughs> what? I think we're gonna be red by the time this run is done. That would have been it, but just one second. What the hell is going on? Yes, that's it. Not what I expected if I'm honest, but the final I'm mad. I'm upset. You should, or you, you should. Not only it's a not only is it a really really good casual game, but it's also a really good speed game. Wait, you need to listen. I know this Though it's the most expensive of the three that I'm running right now. Like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Montague is like 10 bucks, Dream is about 9, Ether 1 is like upwards to, I think, 20 bucks. So it's the most expensive one out of the... out of the three. Somewhere around the 20, $20 mark. Can't check right now, though. Obviously. We've lost a bunch of time off of this fucking intro shit. All I did was take my sum of best down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to PV. Well, I have time saving dreams, so maybe. Oh no, 20 bucks isn't that bad. None of these games are that bad. They're all relatively cheap in comparison, but like... I'm just saying, this is the most expensive of the three. When you compare it to like Montague and, and Dream, Dream being like nine bucks, two dollars every time a sale happens, Hello. and Montague's mount already being pretty cheap um, at about nine bucks as well. Um, nine ten dollars just rounded up. It, either one is pretty expensive in comparison. But whenever there's a Steam sale, Dream is always two bucks, two dollars. Nobody has. 
like nobody has any excuse to not get dream if they want it. I'm not sure that running away was the best thing to do. If it didn't matter who was taking you away or where. But either one, either one hasn't gone on sale, and I don't think Montague has uh, either. You know, you always were a wonderful artist. But these memories are all yours. And now I'm just waiting for a fucking discolored to come out in full. Some of them we were together, and so I can run it. Others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, your mind. I really want to run discolored when that comes out. By creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. The minute that that the minute that I see that in my uh, wish list with with money beside it, presuming I have enough, I am definitely running it. Way that you could understand who you are as an individual. Either that, or I'm sending in the uh, the run that I have, the demo version, because I've already ran it. Sat in that leather chair, in that care home, day in, day out. I don't know why, but I decided to follow you. I grabbed my coat and I sneaked out the back door to hope that I'd find a So, I will definitely be running this color when that comes out. Very long time. How did we save time? Okay, close that. We're doing dream now. Move on. How did that save time? How in God's name did that awful fucking run save time? This colored is a puzzle exploration game. Hi, Ed. Oh, Evie, it's 2 a.m. What the hell are you doing here? My body. Okay, hold on. And. Let me grab you a towel and you can <laughs> It's a puzzle exploration game, kind of like Montague, Ether 1, and Dream. But it's on the Unity engine instead of um, the Unreal engine. I'll give you three guesses. So, it's going to be a little bit different, um, mechanically. And this could, this whole run could be a lot better. Mm. This is a pretty bad run. I just hope Dream saves it. Yeah, no, this run has been hella botched. Right. Hope it's a good dream for you. I think you're a little weird. I don't even know how much time that saves, or if that saves any time at all. I have not tested that at all, but you can actually jump in that area now. You just have to key bind your jump to scroll wheel. Uh, shit. I'm sure there are more cube ready. That should save time, though. Like, automatically, that should save time. Very handy. Okay. The idiot said the password and login bit must be screened. They must be secure. Smoke containment action. What the hell is smoke? Yeah, this run be hella botched, just overall. Like, it's scuffed beyond belief. <gasps> no! Alright, goodbye 20 seconds. That's, that's great. I love, I love losing 20 seconds to CPM.
I, I absolutely love it every time I lose 20 seconds to CPM. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, come on. Let's see what suit shows me tonight. Yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of sarcasm there. CPM is probably the most inconsistent trick in Dream. Um, every other trick is very consistent. CPM is not, but CPM also loses you 20 seconds. More in certain runs. Actually, no, it, it loses you 20 seconds just in general, because you can't do thermal jump, and thermal jump is important. Where the fuck? Why? I hate this run. I legitimately cannot stand this run. This run is awful. I would kill it right now if I wasn't a minute and a half ahead. These games are not a trilogy, not officially at least. There are a lot of connections between the three games, such as uh, people who work on Montague and Ether have worked on Dream. One, uh, devs that worked on Dream and Ether one worked on Montague and what have you. But it is not in of itself a trilogy. They also came out one year uh, apart from each other. That has nothing to do with them being not being a trilogy, but it's kind of fun. Fun little tidbit. Because Montague's Mount came out in 2013, Ether One came out in 2014, Dreams in 2015. Just a fun little tidbit, I guess. Alright. Someone drank it. Oh, please, please, it. okay, thank you. This run is just absolutely botched. Come on! God. Doesn't look like there are any staff back. Must be visitors. <sighs> I hate this run so much. Uh, but the reason why being able to jump in awake uh, should make things faster is not only do you um, not only do you just move faster in the air when you're in the walking position, like when you're stuck walking. Not only does jumping like uh, just make you move faster, but it also propels you forward on its own. Like, you can notice a significant difference between when Howard is running and when he's, like, run jumping. There is a significant, like, push there. Um, and when he's walking, it's noticeably different. Like, it's not particularly noticeably different when he's running, because he's already moving really fast. But that, like, he gains a, a weird momentum when he jumps. And he, he gets propelled forward. So. That's why that jumping thing is, uh, or should be pretty helpful in the future. I don't know how much time it's actually going to save. I never, or I haven't actually went in and timed it yet, but. And all it took was, uh... All it took was a simple e-bind. I wonder if you could, like, change it to other buttons instead of just the scroll wheel, because the scroll wheel's kind of bad to have as a jump button, to be honest. 
at least in this game, because your items are um, keybound like that. Oh yeah, no, they're on SRC. They're on speedrun.com. I hold the official world record for Dream. I don't hold the world record for Ether One or Monty's Mount. Those are both Ma uh, those are both Mave, but I hold the record for Dream at least until Mave gets a hold of it. And then I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose Recky. So that's why I'm not too particularly like worried about keeping my records. I'll fight for at least a dream one, though. I, uh, kind of... I'm kind of the... I, I'm kind of the person who started running this game first. Literally no one ran it before me. And then when Ma... When Ma worst part is, is when Ma Vey did a run of dream for True Any. He actually did take my record there, because his load times were faster. Um, but when he took my, uh, when he took my record for, uh, true any percent, someone acknowledged him, but never, like, someone acknowledged him as, as the only runner for Dream, and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm right here, I've been doing runs of this game since November of last year, fucking fight me. <laughs> I... I, I'm the person who started running this game. I found literally all of the tricks to this game, and in the reason that Mave's fucking time is under two minutes. I was not acknowledged. Despite the fact that this is my main speed game. It sucks. I was mad. I almost wanted to chuck my playlist at him. Yeah, this is my main this is my main speed game. No matter how much how many times I run like Ether One, Montague's Mount. Toy Story, uh, Harry, any of the Harry Potter games or anything like that, this is my main speed game. This is the game that, like, I've poured way more time into than any of the others, to be quite frank. Technically, I speed ran Toy Story 2 first, but I haven't ran that in God knows how long at this point. Maybe four months? Whereas I've been like hammering my uh my time away at dream I'm trying to optimize this shit as much as i can maybe i should sign up too your staff will be like all of the tricks in this game were found by me by their phones for the calls they were optimized by other people but they were found by me Nine. Ew, gross. Oh, good phone RNG though. Eight. Nine eight? Gross. One. Nine eight one. Two. Nine eight one two. Really good phone placement, but awful fucking, uh, safe numbers. Nine. Eight. One. Two. Alright. This is the problem. Uh, I can live with this. It's fine. This is actually really, really fast. It's 
second best RNG you can get in teleport, uh, in Bedlamite Run teleport RNG. <sighs> I want to restore my fucking defaults. I don't like the, the scroll wheel bullshit. Um, sure. Wow, no fucking meteor either. What a time loss. What a fucking meme. Alright. We're losing time on this one. All right. Yeah. There's the time loss. Bruh. I lost too much time on that one. Eight seconds. Hi, uh, Howard. Jesus, it's 2 a.m. What the hell are you doing here? Whatever. I mean, it's a run. It's a PV, I guess. Could have been much better. I actually do want to try something. So let's, 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 uh, open my normal green splits. We're gonna test some things. Can't save these splits.